Time for the local business spotlight on City News 570. And joined this morning by Faisal Susiwala, broker of record with Remax Twin City, Faisal Susiwala Realty. Faisal, good morning. Good morning, Mike. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you? I'm excellent, thank you. Glad to hear it. Can we talk a little bit about the market in the region of Waterloo? How are things looking in the real estate market right now? Well, things are looking very exciting right now, especially with the uh, inflation number coming out this morning at 2.9. That will definitely aim towards lowering interest rates, hopefully uh, by this summer. So I feel there's going to be a definite uptick in the market and a lot of positivity. Uh, People have just sort of been sitting in the sidelines for too long, waiting to see what happens. But we're heading towards the right direction now. I had wondered about those numbers this morning and how they would make you feel, Faisal, because I think a lot of us were waiting with bated breath, right? After a slight uptick in December, we're wondering how are things going to look as we get into the new year? Yeah, very excited about these numbers coming out. Hopefully the trajectory is declining in the the index, so we'll see what happens in the next few months. Speaking of numbers, here's one that I'm... I probably spend too much time, and if you ask my beloved, she'll tell you. Like, I I obsess over this way too much. But maybe you can save me some of the articles I haven't gotten to yet in my weekend business section because I haven't – I I know it's Tuesday. I haven't even read Saturday's business section yet. But I'm excited because it's got some information around retirement and how much money I might need in order to retire. Can you give me some insight on that? Yeah, it's a big thing for all of us. You know, I I often think about, you know, how much money will I need to retire? And I think about your your retirement income should kind of replace your annual income or or the needs that you have each year to live. And that should be 70 to 80 percent of your pre-retirement income. So here's a general guideline. If you can calculate your retirement expenses, estimate the annual expenses in retirement, including your housing, health care, food, transportation, entertainment, you know, all the discretionary spendings that you may have, because you don't want to stop spending just because you've retired. You want to replace your income. So take into consideration the income that you have, such as CPP, you know, any of the government pension plans, work pension plans, any rental income you may have. Then look at the gap. Subtract your expected retirement income from your expected expenses, and you'll have an idea of how much savings you need to have in your retirement. So here's the rule that I would follow, and it's called the 4% rule, which suggests withdrawing 4% of your retirement savings annually to sustain your lifestyle throughout retirement. So an example of that is if you need $100,000 per year, multiply that by 25, which equals $2.5 million. Now, it may seem like a whole lot of money here, but if you if you take that $100,000, multiply it by 25, that means you need $2.5 million in retirement savings so that you can withdraw 4% from the age of 65 to the age of 90 to comfortably have $100,000 a year uh, to retire on. And so if we we need less, that means the savings are a little bit less. But that's a good... And what makes that the kind of magic number, Faisal? So so it it just, you're looking at, you know, depending on, you know, I know you're a very young guy, so you've got probably 20 years before retirement here. But let's say in... At, in 20 years, if you figure you're going to need $100,000 a year to, to take a vacation, drive a car, live in the house you live in, not change your lifestyle, be able to do the things that you enjoy doing without having to give up things. So now if you say, look, I only need $50,000 a year to live off of once I retire, well, then you need $1.25 million saved up by the age of 65 in your retirement account so you can withdraw 4% of that annually, which allows you to live 25 years off of your retirement saving. So that's that 4% rule. Yeah, it's, you know what, it's a good rule to keep in mind. And the earlier you start, always the better, right? Absolutely. I, we talk about TFSAs, the uh, FHSAs, RRSPs, GICs, all of those acronyms that we hear, like learn what they are, know what they are, and start investing so that you can retire comfortably and not have to worry about how am I going to replace my annual income. Faisal, it's always good to have a chat. Thanks for being on the show. 
My pleasure. Take care. Faisal Susiwala joining us, broker of record and Canada's top Remax agent with Remax Twin City, Faisal Susiwala Realty. Don't forget his book called The Real Deal, and you can give Faisal a call anytime at 519-624-5555. The local business spotlight, where your business comes first on City News 570.